There is nobody that speaks for the Yoruba nation that lives in anywhere in Igbo land or in Biafra land. There is no prominent Hausa person that lives anywhere in Biafra land. What we are saying to this man and his likes is that, of course, they will underestimate us because those that have gone before us have made threats and didn't carry it out. This time it is different. If we can place the name Biafra on satellite, if we can broadcast so that the whole world can hear us every blessed day, if we are in over 70 countries around the world with over 5 million listeners, there is nothing we cannot do. This time around, things are very, very different, believe you me. Very, very different, and very soon the world will hear about it. Because the only language that people in the zoo understand is the language of violence and force. After all, that very contraption was put together by Freddy Lugard by force. That's one thing people don't understand, that Lugard killed people to bring Nigeria together. And the killing of people to disintegrate the zoo shouldn't come to anybody as a surprise. Our promise is very simple. If they fail to give us Biafra, Somalia will look like a paradise compared to what will happen to that zoo. It is a promise, it is a, pre it's a pledge, and it's also a threat to them. Mm -hmm. They must understand this, that we've had enough of this nonsense. These criminals cannot be stealing money belonging to everybody. These same men cannot be responsible for the length and breadth of the death, the, the abominable things they continue to do to the people in that very country. Every day, every week, every month, and every year, we cannot allow that to continue. It's impossible for us to let that continue because this nonsense has to come to an end. If they give us peace, that is wonderful. If they decide to go down the route of violence, then I can give you this assurance today. Of course, your worldwide listeners and viewers may be able to note this. If they do not give us Biafra, there will be nothing living in that very zoo they call Nigeria. Nothing will survive there, I can assure you. You see, 1967 to 1970 is not 2013 to 2015. We had scientists then, now we have men that can make things happen even better than what we had in the late 60s. So that should ring as a warning to all of them that we are not joking. I do not believe in peaceful actualization or whatever rubbish is called. I have never seen where you become free by peaceful means. If you know, you tell me. I am a student of contemporary history. I have never come across anywhere in history books where you get your freedom out of a peaceful process. It's never happened. Never, ever, ever.